Hello, Monetization Nation. Buzz Aldrin, the famous astronaut, said, if we can conquer space, we can conquer childhood hunger. In today's episode, I will share with you a cause I'm passionate about, working to solve world hunger through entrepreneurship. This is Entrepreneurs of Faith, a Sunday episode of Monetization Nation, and I'm Nathan William, your host. In 1994, I was a volunteer missionary in a rural northeastern Brazilian town named Arco Vergi. I remember one night I was there that I went to bed hungry for the first time in my life. I had no food and no money with which I could buy any food. Missing one meal was really not that big of a deal, but the feeling of helplessness that I was hungry and there was nothing I could do about it was a big deal. And I cannot even begin to imagine how I would feel if my wife and children were also regularly going to bed hungry. That would be far worse. What I went through one night is completely insignificant compared to the millions of people around the world who regularly go to bed hungry due to food insecurity. Imagine the helplessness and hopelessness they feel. Here are a few statistics to help us understand the magnitude of this world hunger crisis. One in nine people still go to bed hungry every day. The source for that is Concern USA. Each year, two million children die for malnutrition. The source of that is Jonathan Sachs. More than 820 million people go to bed hungry every night. The source of that is the Food and Agriculture Organization from the United Nations. And hunger isn't just an issue of developing countries. Quote, one in four kids in the U.S. faces hunger. Unquote. The source for that is Jeff Bridges. 35 million people in the U.S. are hungry or don't know where their next meal is coming from, and 13 million of them are children. If another country were doing this to our children, would be at war. The source of that is Jeff Bridges. Martin Luther King Jr. said, quote, I have the audacity to believe that people everywhere can have three meals a day for their bodies, education and culture for their minds, and dignity, equality, and freedom for their spirits, unquote. Matthew 25, 37 through 40, teaches, quote, then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison or go to visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatsoever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me, unquote. Global hunger is caused by many issues, such as food shortages, disasters, conflict, forced migration, crop failure, etc. And I know there are many great organizations working to implement numerous great solutions to world hunger. Today, I want to talk about one of these solutions. According to a World Bank report, poverty is the principal cause of hunger. We definitely need to help provide food to the people who are hungry today in the short term. But even more importantly, we can help people to become more self-reliant by building sources of income so that they can provide food for themselves and their families in a sustainable, long-term way. One of my all-time favorite websites is kiva.org. On Kiva, we can see photos and stories of different entrepreneurs around the world and learn about the great ventures they're trying to grow and why they need funds. These loans they are requesting are relatively small, ranging from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars usually. These loans are often used to purchase livestock and animal feed so the entrepreneurs can raise the animals and sell them for a profit. Once we select one or more entrepreneurs on Kiva, we can make a donation of as little as $25. A group of lenders combines their funds to provide the resources the entrepreneur needs. When all of the funds are raised, Kiva makes a loan to the entrepreneur, along with providing support resources to help the borrower be successful. 100% of the money loaned goes to the field. And remember, this is a loan, not a donation, which means the funds are almost always repaid. Kiva borrowers have an astounding 96% loan repayment rate. Think about that. Only 4% of Kiva borrowers default on their loans. Compare that to the default rate of more than 8% on mortgages in the United States. When the funds are returned to us, we can choose to then reinvest those funds with another entrepreneur or withdraw the funds. 
So the same money we used to fund our first loan to an entrepreneur on Kiva could be reinvested dozens of times over and over again to bless the lives of dozens of other entrepreneurs and their families and their communities. So far, the Kiva community has 1.9 million lenders in 77 countries and has funded more than 1.6 billion loans. Proverbs 2827 gives us a promise when we feed the hungry. It says, quote, He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse, unquote. Here are some of my key takeaways from this episode. Number one, world hunger is likely a solvable problem. If we can put astronauts into space, we can definitely conquer world hunger if we all work together to solve it. Number two, more than 820 million people go to bed hungry every night. Number three, each year 2 million children die from malnutrition. Number four, we can choose an entrepreneur or entrepreneurs on kiva.org and make a donation. Number five, our loan funds are repaid to us and we can choose to make the loan to another entrepreneur. Number six, Kiva has a 96% average loan repayment rate. If this episode of Entrepreneurs of Faith resonated with you, please subscribe for free to Monetization Nation so you can receive Entrepreneurs of Faith episodes. Number one, you can subscribe for free to the Monetization Nation e-magazine at monetizationnation.com. Number two, you can subscribe to the Monetization Nation podcast or YouTube channel. And number three, you can also follow Monetization Nation on Instagram and Twitter. What do you feel are the best solutions to conquer world hunger? Please join our private Monetization Nation Facebook group and share your insights with other digital monetizers. Thanks for joining us for this episode. I wish you success in your efforts to be a force for good in the world.